Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about makeup items that I actually do not really purchase. Makeup that I don't buy for varying reasons. I might already have a few of these items in my collection already, but these are definitely things that I rarely use or that I'm actually trying to use up. And I know that moving forward, I definitely will not be purchasing more of these items. I will say that, of course, opinions do change. My opinions on some of these makeup categories, on some of these makeup items, if you will, will certainly probably change in the future. But as of now, I'm simply not interested in buying any of these items moving forward, and let me tell you why. The first item that I'm definitely not interested in purchasing is anything brow related. Brow highlighters, brow pomades, brow pencils, brow brow pencils, brow powders, anything to do with brows, brow gels, I am simply not interested in purchasing. There are a variety of reasons for this particular stance that I am taking. Most um, notably, the reason that I have for not purchasing any of these items is because I simply am not necessarily interested in buying new brow products. For some reason, brow products just don't hold any kind of appeal for me. But the other reason that I have for not wanting to purchase any brow products moving forward is because I actually have found that my favorite um, way of applying brow product is through a powder format. I love using powder formats for my brows. I feel like that's amazing because I'm really able to create a really soft focus effect for my eyebrows. I'm, I'm able to deposit however much color and pigmentation I want. And also, I find that a great way to use up my neutral eyeshadows is simply by using them as brow products, simply by using them as brow powders. I actually have the Lorac Pro 2. This is a palette that I've been trying to um, basically use up. And I have like this one shade in here, this one right here, that I have been using religiously for my eyebrows. I also love to go into this black for my eyebrows just a little bit, not much at all. But my point is... I have a plethora of various different neutral eyeshadows in my collection and I have been finding ways to use them up, most notably by applying them to my eyebrows. And since I have so many neutral matte shades in my collection, I am in no shortage of potential brow shades that I can use for my eyebrows. So because I have been using all my neutral eyeshadows as brow shades, I simply do not necessarily find it uh, necessary for me to buy more brow items because I just don't need to. Primers. Eyeshadow primers. Face primers. Any primers, they kind of go hand in hand. I feel like the only primer that I might be getting in the future might be an eyeshadow primer, but when it comes to face primers, definitely not planning on getting a face primer anytime soon, and let me tell you why. I personally find that I do not like wearing a lot of foundation on any given day. Whenever I do wear foundation, it is usually for a video or it is usually for a special event, and whenever I do wear foundations, in those, um, in those cases, I typically go for the lightest amount of foundation, the most minimal amount of foundation possible. I have realized that whenever I wear so little foundation, I actually find myself not necessarily having to worry about longevity. Because if I wear less foundation on my face on any given day, I find myself having to be less concerned about it, about, about it slipping off, about it transferring, about it going anywhere, because it literally just stays on. It doesn't slip and slide as much, if at all, and I just don't necessarily find myself needing to buy a primer. And also, I usually find myself wearing no foundation more often than wearing foundation at all. I like to wear a full face of makeup without foundation these days, and that's why whenever I'm looking at a face primer, I don't necessarily find myself drawn to it because not only do I not wear that much foundation to begin with, but whenever I do wear foundation, I don't find myself that concerned about longevity or whether or not it will transfer, etc. So I literally do not need a face primer. 
eye primer. I'm kind of like uh, trying to find a good one, but I'm not really trying that much, guys. I just will say I have tried a few eye primers and I will say that my favorite way to prime my eyes is simply by using a light colored concealer or foundation on my eyelids and that is my favorite way of priming them. I have not necessarily found an eyeshadow primer that I like so far and honestly, I don't really want to keep looking because I'm kind of like bored by eyeshadow primers at the moment. I'm not too interested in them. I might be interested in the future. We'll see about that. But at the moment, I do see myself getting maybe a, a white concealer to use as a primer if at all. But I am not necessarily interested in primers in general. So there's that. But then again, I'm not necessarily that interested in primers in general. So there's that. Moving on face powder. I literally used to wear face powder so much. I used to love face powder. I used to use it for baking. I used to use it for setting. I used to use it religiously. Now, I don't bake and I definitely do not set my makeup at all. I just don't necessarily like myself going for the matte look anymore. I like to go for like a more healthy slash dewy, more natural finish these days. So I rarely find myself using powder at all. I just don't use powder. So I do not find myself getting more powder anyway. I just don't find myself having any sort of need to get more powder. So powder is definitely not something that is going to be added to my collection anytime soon. The next thing guys, blushes. I just don't really wear blush. I don't really like blush. I don't really find myself needing more blushes in my collection since I'm definitely trying to use up the blushes I already own and it's going terribly because I'm actually not using them at all. Like I just don't like the look of blush on my skin. I like to go for a little bit more of a bronzed look which is what I'm doing today and what I do pretty much on every single day that I wear makeup. I just don't go for blush. I just don't. I don't think it looks that good on me. I just don't like the rosiness that it adds. I want to go for a little bit more of a bronzed look which is why I do like to use bronzers on my cheeks rather than blushes. So yes, uh, blush is definitely not getting any more of those. I already have blushes in my collection that I have to use up or get rid of or do something about, but I am definitely not in the market for any new blushes in the near future whatsoever. Speaking of blushes, I am definitely not in the market for any cream blushes or bronzers at all. I will say blushes and bronzers because I've tried both, I believe, in cream format and I just have not been as satisfied as I am with a powder format. Powder does tend to be a little bit more low maintenance for me and I definitely think that I'm able to blend out powders more easily on my skin. So cream is definitely not a format that I'm interested in whatsoever so I tend to stay away from cream blushes and cream bronzers in general. Next up sprays. Now I used to be all into setting sprays, into finishing sprays, all the whole bit. I actually do own several sprays in my collection still that I'm trying to use up, but I definitely feel like I have sort of um, dialed back on my obsession with sprays. And it has a lot to do with the fact that I actually have been going for the less is more, no foundation type of look in my makeup routine in general. I used to always go for like foundation, powder, baking, contour. Now I tend to go for um, nothing on my skin. The most that I do on a day-to-day -day basis is simply take a powder and just chisel out my face just a little bit, but I usually just tend to leave my face completely bare. What I do like is to focus on eyes and lips, of course, but that habit, that way of doing makeup has left me with little to no desire or need to use uh, sprays in my routine because I used to tend to wear sprays a lot for the long wearing purpose of them, but since I have like literally no product on my skin on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't buy sprays 
and whenever I do wear makeup, I just don't really want to spray it anyway, so there's no need for sprays in my collection at all. Because let's just face it, whenever I do wear makeup, it's usually for filming or for Instagram or it's usually for a special event. I only will use sprays for a special event because I tend to really want to have the long wear power of a spray in that scenario. But whenever I'm filming or doing Instagram, I literally do not need a spray. So that's why I tend to stay away from them. I just tend to not really buy any more sprays anymore. So sprays, definitely not necessary in my collection at all. I'm just trying to use up the ones I have and I'm definitely not gonna be buying any new ones, at least in the near future. Last but not least, let's talk about loose eyeshadow pigments. Now, I cannot believe, or I cannot remember the last time I used a loose powder for my eyeshadow and I actually do own like one or two loose powders in my collection and I have noted that those powders in my collection do go completely unused if, um, well I do use them every now and then, but I cannot remember the last time I used a loose uh, format or a loose powder for my eyeshadow. I find it a lot easier to go for a pressed formula when it comes to my eyeshadows or pigments. I just don't think that I have as much control over application when I'm using a loose uh, formula or a loose powder for my eyeshadow because I really do tend to be quite precise and I guess it has to do a lot with my skill level as well. So I tend to really be drawn to pressed formulas when it comes to eyeshadows or pigments, which is why whenever I see a loose pigment or a loose eyeshadow being marketed, being marketed, I'm just not as interested in getting it. Those are all the products that I just don't find myself really drawn to, that I just am not really that interested in purchasing. Do you have any similar products in your mind? Are there any finishes, uh, products, categories that you just are not necessarily interested in purchasing? Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll get back to you. But thank you so much for watching the, till the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.